My name is Jesse McMaster, and I'm the creator of McMaster Fit. It is my mission to help people thrive in their bodies. This is a yoga for football sequence that will help prepare the body for all the quick movements and high impact that football requires. We're gonna focus on anchoring our mindfulness in the body using the breath while creating mobility through the hips, the spine, and the shoulders. When this is done on a regular basis, this will reduce your chance of injury. We're gonna begin this sequence in a tabletop position. So coming to all fours, spreading your fingers out wide, stacking hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, and we're just gonna start with some shoulder rolls. So we're gonna roll the shoulders around in a big circle, trying to keep the arms as straight as possible. A soft bend is fine. I'm just kind of rolling them up to the ears, back, down, all around, and then reverse those circles, take them the other way. And just be okay with whatever mobility you have today. It might be kind of stiff, your circles might be more a square shape or triangle, that's all right, just move them around. Mm -hmm. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. And then from here, coming back into this tabletop position, we're going to step the left foot out to the left side. Left foot is in line with your right knee. And we're gonna bend into this left knee and start to do really big hip circles. So as I roll my hips back, I'm gonna kind of stick my booty out. And as I come forward, I'm gonna tuck my pelvis under. So uh, big circles, I'm gonna do about five in one direction, and then five in the opposite direction. Staying strong and rooted through my arms, keeping my breath moving through my body. Big breath in, slow breath out, so just warming up the hips. Oh, this should feel really good, really good on the groin. And then coming back to center, we're gonna keep that left leg out, but this time open the left arm up. Notice how my right shoulder is stacked over my right wrist. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna bring this left arm down and just reach it behind the right forearm. Inhale, reach it up, opening your chest and your ribs. And then exhale, bring it down and reach. Let's do three more like that. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it down. And do it again. This helps to open up through our rib cage, through our middle of our back, which is our thoracic spine. And when we create more mobility through this middle of our body, this helps to take the pressure off of our lower back. And last one, big breath in, big breath out. And releasing that left arm down, we'll take it to the other side. So stepping the right foot out to the right side. Bend the knee and draw big circles with the hips. Stay strong through your arms. So my fingers are spread out wide. I'm grabbing the ground with my fingertips. Go ahead and reverse your circles. And being very mindful if there's a big difference going from one side to another. Your right hip might be a little tighter than your left or vice versa. Just being aware of that. You might need to spend some extra time on one side. Big breaths. And once you've done about five circles in both directions, now we'll take it into those thoracic spine twists. So opening the right arm up, big breath in. Exhale, bring that right arm down, reach it behind the left forearm. Let's do it again. Inhale, open up. Make sure your joints are stacked. Exhale, bring it down nice and slow. Do it again. Inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it down. So keeping the breath slow and steady to help anchor your mindfulness into your body. Preparing your body for all the dynamic movements, all the high impact that is to follow. And that's about five. Let's do one more. Big breath in. And big breath out. Bring that arm down. Go ahead and release that side. Back into tabletop, and we're gonna go into what we call half puppy. So I'm gonna walk my arms forward and wider than my hips. I'm gonna keep my left arm out there. I'm gonna bend my right elbow and use the back of my right hand as a pillow. And I can really adjust my left arm as wide as I need to. And notice how long my spine is. My hips are over my knees, and I'm melting my chest down. Big breath in, 
Big breath out, shoulders out of the ears. I might turn my head side to side. Just trying to get my chest as close to the ground as possible. It's okay if you're not making it there today. Then we're gonna switch. We're gonna bring this left arm in to help bring ourselves up. And we take the right arm out really wide, right? Like if both arms were out. And I could do both arms, but right now I'm just gonna do one. Just so I can focus on just opening up this right shoulder. My left arm creates a pillow. My shoulders are out of my ears. And I just take a few breaths, lengthening my spine, and then melting the chest down, opening up through the right armpit. I can adjust the right arm as I need to. I can turn my head to the side. Let's do one more breath. <sighs> Bring that right arm back in, push yourself up. So we're back into tabletop. Now from here, we got one more in this uh, quadruped stance. We're gonna go into what we call thread the needle. So let's bring the right hand under the face. So it's kind of in the center. Left arm's gonna open up. Exhale, bring that left arm down, thread it behind your right forearm. Reach until your shoulder lands on the ground. You're gonna use this right arm as leverage in front of your face to kind of support the body. Let your head hang. And you're taking big breaths into your rib cage. Exhales to let that weight just kind of hang out in that left shoulder. We're gonna do two more. Big breath in, big breath out. Last one, big breath, breathe into your ribs. You can play with pulling the hips back one way or the other. And then use this right hand, push into the ground, unwind. Open the left arm all the way up. And then bring the left arm down. And now we'll try it on the other side. So left hand is center under the face. Right arm opens up. And then you bring the right arm down and you thread the needle. So we thread it behind, we let the shoulder rest, the head relax. And I'm using this left hand in front of my face to as leverage or support, right? And my weight is in my right shoulder, my head is relaxed, and I'm just breathing into my ribs. So focus the breath through the center of the body. Big breath in through the nose. Slow exhale out through your mouth. Let the weight be in that shoulder. Do it again. You might work on like pulling that, uh, what is this, left hip back, creating length and space through your spine. Last breath here is a big inhale through your nose. Slow exhale out your mouth. And then use this left hand. Put it back in front of your face. Push into the ground so you can unwind. Reach that arm all the way up. And then bring that arm down. Now from here, spread your fingers out wide. Curl your toes. Lift your hips. And we're going to take what we call downward facing dog. Feet out wider than your hips. Strong arms pushing the ground away. Melting the chest back towards your thighs and just pedaling the heels. So we're gonna bend one knee, then the other. It's okay if your heels don't make it to the ground. Working your tailbone up to the sky. So I'm really trying to increase the distance between my hands and my tailbone. Take a big breath. You can bend the knees, just kind of play with it here. Open up the legs, ah. And then bending the knees, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands or our hands to our feet. Take a strong stance with the legs, bend the knees, and slowly roll it up on an inhale. <sighs> Take a breath in through the nose. Slow out through the mouth. Coming into our mountain pose, or Tadasana. Noticing your feet on the ground. Anchoring your mindfulness into this new stance. Big breath in. Slow, controlled exhale out. And let's do one more breath, big breath in. Maybe bending the knees, pushing into those three points on your feet, lengthening your spine. Ah. And then we're gonna take it into a wide stance. So we're gonna step the feet out way wider than your hips. Bend the knees a little bit. Press into those three anchor points on each foot. So you have the ball under the big toe, ball under the pinky toe, and the center of your heel bone. And anchoring into those three points on each foot by bending the knees, we're gonna do dynamic side lunges. So I'm gonna bend into my left knee and then exhale, come on up. And then inhale, bend into my right knee and exhale, come on up. And do that again. Over to the left side, push into your heels, stay light on your toes, come on up. But we're just using this to help us continue to open up through the hips and just take it at whatever range of motion you have today. 
Keep the inner arches of your feet lifted. Send the hips back. Do not let your knee go forward. We'll do one more each side. Maybe get a little lower because you're feeling warmed up and good. <sighs> Stay with your breath. <sighs> then we come up to standing. We're going to reach the arms up overhead. We're going to drop the left arm down, reach up and over. Just get a nice side bend and then we'll come to the other side. Back to center. Exhale, side bend to the other way. And then inhale, center. Bend your knees. Dive down over your legs. So now we're in a wide leg fold. Just let your head hang. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Keep a bend in your knees. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. And then we're gonna bring this left hand to center. Keep the knees bent and open the right arm up. Just go as high as you can, take a big breath. And a big breath out, maybe take it up onto your left fingertips so you can really open up across the rib cage and the chest. And then lower the right arm down, relax the spine, relax the head, the neck, keep the knees bent, shake it out. And then we're going to take it to the other side. So I plant my right hand under my face. I bend my knees so I make sure I'm hinging from my hips. And the left arm goes up, right? And I'm keeping the energy, sending that energy up through my left fingertips as I move my breath through my body. So inhale, and a slow exhale. Do it again, big breath. Keeping a bend in the knees, keeping the spine long. Take one more big breath, keep reaching up through those left fingertips and slowly release it down. Relax the head and neck, resetting the spine. And then bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, go, hot. go ahead and bring the torso up. Whew. Take a moment, step your feet back together and we end in our mountain pose or Tadasana. Mm-hmm.